Russ here over your TV. Welcome! We're on Imperial Dam Road. And this road is rough. <laughs> we just left the uh, Bard. Wasn't that museum something else? Cloud. Clouds. Model T Museum in the middle of nowhere. I had never been that impressed in my life from a private old collector. Man, that guy was just full of life. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Stop. Gotta get a picture of that. There's a dam here. Look how they're diffusing the water. Huh. Well, get out and get a look at this. That's kind of cool. Look how they're diffusing that water. Maybe they aerate it? I don't know. It's part of the Colorado irrigation system here. Man, they're feeding a lot of fields. Okay. Well, onward we go. Look how green and happy those trees are right there. They got water. Water in the desert. Makes green things. Boy, that's a pretty hefty little dam there. Looks like they generate a little power out of it too. It's called Laguna Dam. Okay, right up the road. Imperial LTVA. We're going to go up here, check it out. Hopefully we can fly the drone, too. Oh, better road. This part's paved. There's about a three-mile stretch here. That road is beat up. But this is still a pretty good cut through. If you're staying up here at Imperial... Oop, sign, sign. What's it say? We're here. Oh. Let's check out what it says. LTVA area to the left. Sounds good. Alright, let's go check her out. From here, that's a short way into Yuma. If you want to go to downtown Yuma. That wasn't long at all. Country road, but what the heck. Because the other direction, we'll go out. Remember, we're going to go out. We'll go end up by those big cannons where we started a couple videos ago. All right, back here is Imperial Dam. I think it's a reservoir. I don't know all the names. You have to Google it yourself. But people camp here. Here's another canal. Plus the LTVA permit here is good in Quartzsite. They're good at several different campgrounds. So if you're up in Quartzsite, you can come down here and use the same permit for the six, six and a half months that it's good for, or whatever it is. Okay, there's camping right there on the left, but I think we go up a lot farther. What I'll do is I'll drive clear to the end, because I know this dead ends. Then we'll work our way back and hopefully we can fly the drone a couple times. So we'll check this one out on the way out. There's some signs. Oh, there's an RV park back there too. Huh. There's quite a bit in here. I see trailers here or there. They must get in from up top, though. I haven't seen any road yet. Yep, oh, there's a sign. Okay. We're on BLM. There's somebody camping on the right. Wow, look at the big uh, ponds on the left. That's for sewer. 
or water treatment. So this must be their main uh, camp area with, uh, I bet they got uh, dumps, dumpsters and water, potable water. Cool. Well, we'll catch that one on the way out too. Let's go all the way to the end. Go up by the reservoir. I drove back here years ago. I really don't remember much of it. It was a totally different time of year. I think I think it, actually when I was out here before it was raining. Okay, here's some happy campers on the right. Quite a few. Quite a few. Look like a water storage tower tank there on the right. Boy, these guys are camping together. Ah, here on the left, look. Here's a reservoir. Cool. Looks like a bunt, boat launch there on the left. Alright, and here's the dam. Let's drive across it. one this is an earthen dam Let's see was that the end boy the temperatures really warming up this is uh, Yuma area it's easily over 90 right now I kicked on the van air conditioner so it's definitely warming up okay right to the left there's their intake for the dam, right down below is the dam. Well, let's drive down in there. I bet there's good fish in here. Oasis in the desert. Look how barren, there's nothing. No trees, nothing. Except close to the water. Well, we're definitely not going straight. What's this say here? Well, they got a boat launch. And water access. Okay. We'll check her out. Okay, signs, warning, stay clear of Imperial Dam, in case they open that puppy up. Okay, I see a bunch of rigs to the left. Let's do a drive around, probably a boat launch down here. I see a lot of picnic tables. Looks like a pavilion type thing up there. It's probably their maintenance guys. Right off to the right, right there, there's the dam. There's the gates to it. And it's releasing water out. Another place where they control the river. Boat ramps. So if you got your ATV, your fishing boat, and your RV, you are set for six months. <laughs> Looks like restrooms right there. This is it. This is the very end of it. They probably got day use and long-term fees. Cool. Pretty place. Look at this. Very well done. Well, let's head on out. We'll go back down that hill and I'll find a place or two to launch a drone. Maybe up where all the 
uh, sewer dumps and the water up to that one LTVA, their main one. That'd be a good place to launch a drone. Probably see the whole area from there, because that was kind of on top of a hill. I bet you could sneak out there. Now, we're not too far. Of course, this is California side. The Proving Grounds is on the Arizona side. So it's probably open range for four-wheelers. I doubt if it's restricted. I don't know. Have to check it out. Water level looks good. Well, there's no one coming. I'm going to... Uh, stop a second and jump out and we'll I'll get a quick video of both sides there's the dam there's our gates and it's heading south from there there's that area where you're just down there with boat launch and all that. What a pretty place. Be worth coming up here. And over here is the intake for the water. Cool. Well, let's roll. They stock fish here, maybe, huh? Some of these places do, they'll stock the fish. There's their warning siren in case they open that gate up. Probably in heavy rains, I don't know. You know, and they regulate the flow on the Colorado. Of course, this far south, most of the water's been diverted. I mean, clear up from Havasu all the way through Parker, all the way down through Blythe, and all the way down through here. That's a long ways. They branch off a ton of this water. All right, let's go find a place to fly the drone. Yeah, a few campers. I think it was right up here. We passed it. Yeah, it was up here. On the right. And I can see off to the right, it looks like those uh, RVs go back there a very long way. Kind of wraps around the back side of the lake here. So this must be all long term here. Well, I hope it's giving you a good idea of what's here. And once again, you can use the same permit. If you buy a permit up in uh, Quartzite, you know, you can use it at the four LTVAs up here. You can use it at this one. And I think there's one or two more around Yuma somewhere. We'll find them later. South Mesa. Okay. Now look on the left. Look, there's her. You can get water. Bunch of dumpsters. And there's our sewer dumps. Heck, this is bigger than La Posa South. Way bigger. Let me go back. We'll get turned around and I'll launch a drone here. Yeah, look at them. They're way back there, the rigs. All these dirt roads. There's some over there. Just depends how close you want to be to the water. Alright. What do you think? Drone time. I'm going to go up here and park. We'll see it from the air. Here we go. 
Now we're talking. There's your view. That's looking back at the boat ramps. Look how pretty. Look at the colors against the water. The green around the reservoir here. Look at all the dirt trails way out. Way out there you can go. Looks like that water is low. Look how far they're camping out this direction. I bet this place is packed in another couple months, just like quartzite. Look at this. Oh, there's those uh, drain ponds for their sewer. For the dumps, RV dumps. There's a little area down there to camp. Looks like a water tower or a water tank up there. Look at the red against a different color of the soil and the rock. Wonder what that concrete pad is there. Huh. Well, this is just downright beautiful. All right, this is the Imperial Dam, LTVA. Camp, fish, boat, hike, ATV. What else you want? Place you can go down and see Cloud's Antique Museum. <laughs> Not that far from here. There's a look down. There's our sewer dumps. Looks like they got, what, at least eight big dumpsters. Wow, you can get water. Look how many can get water at once. This place must really fill up. Be interesting to come here like in January, see how full it is. Maybe we'll do that. Bring the buggy down here in the trailer and go toot around a little bit. All right, get landed. We'll get on out of here. Well, you know, that's not a bad deal at all if you can camp at multiple locations on a single permit. The permit's what, 180. So you can stay at four different ones in Quartzite. This one, and I'm pretty sure there's one or two more that that permit's good at. Now this is California, barely. I mean, you're right on the state line. But it don't matter. There's no stores or nothing. The closest shopping would be Yuma. Or Quartzite. There's nothing else around here. All right, well, let's go down towards uh, the bottom of this hill. Maybe I can find a place to launch a drone. Check out the river from down there. This looks good as any. I'm gonna get parked and get up in the air. Up we go. Now this is down at the bottom of the hill. This is where we came in. Straight over, there's the proving grounds way out in the distance. Arizona's right there. We're still on California. We're on this side of the water. They really have this heavily controlled for irrigation. Looks like the water used to be a much higher here. That's looking up where we were, up top there. Isn't that pretty? There's a, looks like an RV park out there. Come back around. 
uh, straight below us it showed it as BLM look they got power poles in there huh if you know any of this stuff put it down to come out comments for other people I've never stayed out here in November when I come back down we'll maybe make another run through here okay get landed There you go, that's the entire area, Imperial Dam, the reservoir, all the LTVAs, all their campgrounds that I know of. You've seen it from the land and air. Okay, well, time to head back to Quartzsite. Down description, there's all kinds of ways to support the channel. I'll buy a cup of coffee, get a t-shirt, coffee mug, shop on Amazon, click a link. That all helps the channel grow. Thank you for all that have done it already. Okay, we're crossing over this reservoir again. back on Imperial Dam Road and we're gonna head back over to uh, 95 Highway 95 okay looks like one of the gates for the Air Force Base look all the RVs in there that must be military camping I bet Hey, if you got military credentials retired, you could probably stay there. That's something to check out, too, for all your veterans. There's our entrance. I think there's a couple entrances. All right, let's head for our Highway 95. Okay, see what I see? I see the cannons. Stick them way up there. That one that shoots 35,000 yards. <laughs> Look at them things, huh? That's impressive. And this is Highway 95 to the right. This is where we started a couple videos ago. To the right goes Yuma, to the left back to Quartzsite. And we're heading to Quartzsite. All right, next video, I think I need to go up to Havasu just for a quick day trip. I'm gonna try to catch the BLM office up there. Probably take the buggy out around Quartzsite a little more, do more exploring, maybe right up around Dome Rock. See if we can't find some old mines or something out that way. Still a little too hot to metal detect. Snakes are still out, so anyway. We'll be doing that soon, too. All right. Talk soon.